Hey guys, have we go lucky here. Today's question of the day is mainly to help those parents where the kids are bringing in these homeworks all about multiples, factors, squares, cubes, primes and you're like, well hang on, I used to know what they were but I've completely forgotten. So this is a question from Cambridge IGCSE paper 3, the 2020 specimen paper. So it's very sort of appropriate for, you know, the new papers. Here's a question. You've got five number cards, one, two, six, seven and eight and you've got to put two cards side by side to show. Part one, a two digit number that's a multiple of seven. Part two, a two digit square number. Part three, a two digit cube number. And part four, a two digit prime number. So have a look at the question, pause it, have a go at it, and then press unpause and I'll give you the solutions. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay guys, hopefully you've paused it and had a go at it. Um, four marks available, so let's go through the different types of number properties. First one, a two digit number that's a multiple of seven. So a multiple is your times tables. So there's your clue there in the word multiple. It's how something multiplies. So the multiples of seven are the seven times table. Seven, 14, 21, and so on. But all we need to do is to find just two digits that make any one of those in the seven times tables. So the first one you can see is hopefully the two and the one, 21. You could also have 28 and there may be more, but if we'll go for that one, 21 or 28, anything that's in the seven times table, one mark, well done. Section two, a two digit square number. So a square number, it's called a square number because if you say do three times three, you'll make a three by three square. That's why I just started getting called square numbers. So a square number is one times one, which is one, two times two, which is four, three times three, which is nine, and so on. So you might be able to see the pattern. We're looking for a two digit square number, so we haven't got to go too far. Four squared, four times four, 16. Five squared, good practice, 25. We seen one yet? 36, 49, 64, and nine squared is 81. So we can use the eight card and the one card to make nine squared. The ninth square number is 81. Well done if you've got that one right, two out of two. Okay, third question, a two digit cube number. So a cube number, a cube is three dimensional, which means you've got three dimensions. You've got length, you've got width, and now you've got height to get a bit of volume. That's where the words volume and cube come from, to mean three-dimensional. So if we want a two-digit cube number, it's not just one times one now, it's one times one times one again. So one cubed, one times one times one is one. Two cubed would be two times two times two. Well, two times two is four, and times that by two is eight. Three cubed, getting bigger. Three times three is nine. Nine times three again, 27. And lo and behold, up on the number grid, that's our number, because we've got a two and we've got a seven. So the cube number we're looking for was 27. The final one, a two digit prime number. So prime numbers, if something's prime, it's in pristine condition. It can't be stripped down anymore. You think about primer when you're priming your doors or nail varnish, that sort of stuff. We need a primer. So a two digit prime number, all the prime numbers have exactly two factors. Two numbers go into it and nothing else. For example, 17. The only numbers that go into 17 are one, and 17. So that's classed as prime. It's in pristine condition, can't be broken down anymore. However, we want a two digit prime number. So if we list the first 10 prime numbers, then remember one isn't a prime because it hasn't got two factors, only one in itself. So there's only actually got one factor. So one, although it used to be classed as a prime number, now isn't. Here's the first 10 prime numbers. Two, because two times one are the only factors. Three, five, seven, no good for us right now because we want a two digit prime number. But then we've got 11. We can't use that because there's only one one card. 13, can't use that. 15 isn't a prime because three and five multiply to make 15. So it's not prime, it's got four factors. However, 17 is prime, which is actually the example we gave as well. So the number you're looking for, well, of many, is 17. How did you do? Did you get four out of four? Did you get three out of four? Is there anything I can help you with apart from that? What else do you want some help on? Thanks for trying today's challenge. Hopefully you can share it with your kids and your friends and your family and uh, keep following. I've been Happy Go Lucky. Thank you very much for today's question of the day. Bye.